Being a crew chief, my home is the flight line. Coming up here as an instructor, you get to teach the classes. The reason for the simulator is to get them comfortable with what it's going to look like when they get in the jet. We go through normal startup procedures and shutdown procedures, get them used to looking at the gauges. On the simulator, I can throw in emergencies, all the emergencies that they they know how to react to if that were to happen to them while they're running a real jet. To first of all, make sure that they're safe, and then second, to keep the jet from damaging itself. Everything that they're going to do or that we want them to do in the hush house, we go over it in the sim first. If they miss an emergency or they miss uh, a procedure, it doesn't harm anything. And that's why we do it, to practice. So that way when they go do the real thing, um, they know how to react to keep the jets ready to go. Having that instructor flight is really important. So these guys that are working day in and day out on the line get the right training and get the job done. Seeing them do things on the line is uh, very rewarding. I like it a lot. It's the first time that we've ever had this tail flash at Kunsan, and then the first time that I am flying uh, a new tail flash slash my new tail flash. Couldn't be more excited. If you look at that flash right on the bottom straight there are the list of a bunch of aces from Vietnam that were part of the 8th Fighter Wing. And then you've got kind of the rising sun and right tail flash uh, with our, our main mission to the ops group, let's take the fight north. This is a major lift, right, because this is kind of work on top of everything else maintenance is doing. Those guys are keeping these jets clean, keeping them running, keeping them uh, tuned up. And on top of that, they decided to take on these projects of taking four of our tails in the wing and making them legacy tail flashes. To strip the old paint, to get the design approved for the tail, and then to carefully and meticulously get that paint job just the way it needs to be. And that's a lot of work. This jet really represents the essence of the, of the 8th Operations Group. So what an honor, right, to be the commander of the group and to get a chance to fly the jet in one of its maiden sorties. And hopefully for as long as F-16s are in the inventory and here at the Wolfpack, that tail flash will be flying.